Hi guys, welcome to Didi Dye's Crafty Corner. My name is Diane and today we're going to make a shaker card. So today I'm going to be playing around with the Lawn Fawn Halloween set from this year. I'm going to be using the Dynamics number 27. I'm going to be using the frame and the scallop frame for this project. I'm also going to use the um, Doodlebug Design 6x6 Booze and Brews paper pad. I loved this paper pad. So I've already cut out my window, I've already attached my fun foam and my acetate, and I've already cut all the little paper pieces that I'm going to be using for this project. So the first piece, the spider piece, I cut to fit behind the frame. I used the rectangle for the purple piece and the white star piece. I used the Lawn Fawn largest of the stitched frames. So now I'm just going to start gluing this all together and we'll see what happens. So I colored the images a couple of days ago and um, I wanted to go ahead and finish up my Halloween cards this week. So I thought what better way than to make a shaker card and then I have a couple of other cards that I'm going to work on this afternoon. I did not get to making a um, Cindy Chit Chat yesterday guys and I apologize for that. I absolutely could not if I had wanted to. I was beyond exhausted, mentally and physically just drained, absolutely drained from um, Susie's treatment on Friday, which went so good, guys, so, so good. Um, she got it done in five and a half hours and it, she was a rock star. And then Saturday was Susie's birthday. And we also took the kids to our little fall festival here. And um, although we had a great time, it was extremely tiring. And I don't know why, but I woke up Sunday in just so much pain. So the sequins I'm going to be using for this are from Pretty Pink Posh. It is the Trick or Treat collection from last year. And the little purple beads that I'm using, I got from Crafty Lori in a surprise um, package that she sent me, I think about a year ago. So I was so happy to be able to finally use those little purple beads. So now I'm just um, getting everything put together in this little shaker card. And then we'll get it flipped over and see what it looks like. And then we'll start adding all the little characters. This project was so much fun for me. I don't really have a place for this card to go yet, but those little Lawn Fawn characters, those little um, dots and dogs, they're so adorable. Um, so much fun to color. This was such a fun project. I had so much fun. I originally wasn't sure if I was going to use all of the pieces you see up there or not. Originally, I thought I would use the ghost and the pumpkin. Um, maybe the little pumpkin bag. I stuck a penguin in one of the pumpkins. I just it was so much fun. I ended up only using three of the images. Isn't that cute? Turned out so cute. So um, as I sit here and put the rest of this together and you guys watch, I thought we would just do a little chit chat. So yeah, that's what happened to the Sunday chit chat this week. So there was not one, but I do have a couple of voiceover um, videos to put up this week. So I thought I would just chit chat in there with you guys a little bit. Um, coming up this week, that's just it. I'm going to finish up these Halloween cards because I have so much fall to do. And I have quite a few orders for fall cards that I'm going to start working on this week. And I thought I would film a few of them. So I'm really testing out this voiceover thing. I'm not very good at it, but I thought mm, this was a good card to give it a try. So what I've done for this video is I've sped it up to only two times because that's what I can do on my phone. And I've um, just done a voiceover and I, and I um, took all the noise background out. You know, I, I canceled out all the noise background. So I'd actually started this project early this morning <laughs> But didn't get to finish it because um, Pukachu's mom called and wanted to go grocery shopping and wanted me to go with her. So we did that. And well, after lunchtime now, and I'm just now getting around to finishing this, and I wanted to get it up today so I could chit chat with you guys. Um, also, I wanted to let you know that Susie's card, um, the challenge for to make Susie a card. We've extended through the 30th because we are waiting on a few more cards that we know are coming in. Um, we have filmed a video of Susie opening the last batch of cards, but I have not, um, I haven't shown the cards yet on my channel, but I will. 
and then Susie's channel will be up in the next couple of weeks and it'll also be over there. So rest assured, if you sent a card, we've gotten it. Um, if you sent it in the last couple of weeks, we've got it. She's opened it and looked at it and I'll be doing a video on it. I'm putting a video up tomorrow on those cards and then she, we'll have the video of her opening them on her channel. And then like I said, on October 30th, which is also a Sunday chit chat day, we'll go ahead and um, do the winner. Susie will pick a winner. So it's, didn't this card turn out cute, guys? You can see now I'm, like, I really didn't know. When I first started, I thought I was going to use every single one of every, put something in every window, and I just decided I liked it just the way it was. So, yeah, that's how it turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed my rambling today, and um, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you soon.